is this Meg's yeah. time? Because I can hey. totally hop off. That nope, we've got Whitney drunk and she stuck around because I can uh, I kept her right here. I'm like, oh, I'm not letting her go anywhere. She's staying with us all day long for the next ten years, didn't we say? We did say that. Yeah, it's true. Okay, ten years, she's gonna stick around. Ten years. It is uh, that's Meg and Lindsay you're seeing though. And guess who I am? Peekaboo. Hey. Jessica Northey. <laughs> I'm here and I wanna be Megan though, because like did you see that? I was like, so maybe they'll think it's me. Um, I'm just Jessica Northey. So see him chat. It's our third birthday. We're here to blow out this day with twang outs all day long. And one of my like BFFs in this whole world is here next. And I'm going to let Bethany introduce her. But if you got questions, hit the tweets right now. See him chat on Twitter to ask Megan Lindsay a question. That's Megan Lindsay, M-E-G-H-A-N-L-I-N-S-E-Y. Or you could just look at this right here. So I've got it on my thing. And go... B girl. All right. So we are really excited to have you here, Megan. We're all big fans. And yeah. people will recognize you from being in Steel Magnolias. You did, um, or Steel Magnolia, you did the traveling back and forth to Nashville, Bluebird Cafe. Then you met Josh. You did the Can You Duet. You guys did your thing together. Now you're doing a solo adventure and you just have such an amazing voice and you're absolutely beautiful your new photos we've been dying over and we're just so excited to have you here and hear about what you have going on yay I have really good hair and makeup <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I'm glad to be here thank you guys happy birthday I know I thought it was cool because I know you and Whitney don't get to see each other all the time and so I was like we have Megan and you can ask her a couple questions and then um, we're just, it's been an exciting day, and I get to talk to you and hear everything you're up to, but you want to tell everyone about your new project, what you're doing right now? Yeah, I'm a, I launched a pledge campaign yesterday. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. I, um, yeah, it's just to fund my EP. I've been working on my, getting my EP out there and done, and um, there's lots of cool, lots of cool incentives on there. To get um, to get everybody involved and, and post in like videos and photos and stuff of me in the studio and trying to bring kind of bring the fans into the process. So I think it'll be really fun. Who made that video? Best video I've ever seen for one of those barman. <laughs> that video. <laughs> Josh Marks made it, but um, we all kind of collaborated and came up with the ideas. And it's uh, so good. You're in the part where you have the little thing over your face, the ski mask, and you stop in the middle of putting a ski mask on. And you're like doing your lipstick. It's classic. It's the best ever. Thank you. <laughs> you guys have so to go fun. watch it. It was so fun to shoot. I love that I'm always eating in it, though. I think that's pretty funny. <laughs> okay. When, uh, where can people go to see that? When, when they're done watching you right here, where can they see your pledge music at? It is all over my webpage. So if you just go to meganlindsay.com, you can't miss it. <laughs> okay. And then, um, all right. So we got into that. I am going to let your friend Whitney ask you the first question. Oh, goodness. <laughs> so, do you have songs picked out for this EP? I do, yeah. I've been Yay! Writing crazy. So I've got lots of stuff, lots of songs, and uh, some stuff's already recorded, but just trying to get it finished and get it out there is kind of the right. plan. The plan. Have you yeah. guys ever written together? We nope. haven't, but we're going to. <laughs> we're going to next week, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, I love this idea. Yeah, we really we really need to. We've we've planned it and then you know, I think I had to cancel the last one. I don't know. I think my granddad was in the hospital and then I feel like somebody in your family was also sick as well. So we've had some craziness going on, but we're gonna make it work. We are, for <laughs> sure. We're gonna make our dreams come true <laughs> for me and you. That's why I don't sing. And then I'm gonna jump <laughs> over to Jen with a question. Jen Swirsky. Um, we forgot with Whitney, so I'm going to ask both of you. What are your pre-performance rituals? Mm, whiskey? I don't know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I don't, you know what? I, I, we pray every time before we go out on stage. We do that. Yeah, um, we do that as well. I can't have alcohol because I forget lyrics really easily. So, uh, yeah, praying. <laughs> For sure. I have like one drink, you know, just to even it out. But <laughs> whiskey and prayers. Now there's your there's your song. Yeah. Go work well, on it. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Scotty B, your turn. 
Yeah, everyone on Twitter wants to know, Megan, if we can see you at CMA Fest. Maybe, Whitney, you can touch on it as well. Yeah, I'm going to be... Um, there's a stage in front of Bridgestone. I think it's the Bud Light stage. I'm playing that on Saturday at 3.45, um, the Saturday of CMA Fest, whatever day that... The thing is the 7th of June. And then um, I'm planning a fan club party, and I'm going to post about it soon. I just haven't got it all nailed down. And who's going to be... Who's going to be introducing you at your fan club party? Who? Jessica Northy, actually. Is the, the, the oh, <laughs> awesome. Um, also, I wanted to ask you a question. Yes. But I forgot what it was, so I'm going to let... I'm going to let... I'm, just, I'm totally kidding. I'm going to let Bethany ask you a question right now. I get to talk to you all the time, and I will be like, <laughs> oh, yeah, I should have asked you this in five minutes. <laughs> Okay, so I want to know because One Republic's Counting Stars is one of my favorite songs. I still love it just as much now as the first time I heard it. And when I heard you do it, I was like, oh, brilliant. Now, did you love the song and decide to do it, or did someone suggest it to you? No, I just love the song. I mean, I wasn't really planning on putting it out, per se. I just wanted, because I do cover songs and post them on YouTube mm -hmm. a lot. So I was like, I'm just going to do, like, a simple video, and it kind of turned into this whole thing where... My friend came by my apartment, and he happens to be a videographer, right, when we were, like, shooting a video that we were trying to figure out how to do. So he was like, let me just go get my stuff, and then it turned into a video that CMT started playing, and then it started getting played on Sirius, and so kind of just went with it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it turned out really cool. What? I mean, I, I can't, it's funny because we've had this, this discussion about Counting Stars, but I really like the country version, not to take away from One Republic, but I love your country version. It's Thank you. It's, it's so a great, great song, and you sing it so well. It's, Boom. I love it. Love Thanks, it. guys. Tell me more. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hear, it, I hear it a million times a day because it's my ringer. It's my ringtone on my phone. <laughs> Really? I love you. <laughs> I was like, did you not know that? It's been my ringtone since it was out like on a press release or something. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Do uh, we all want to call Chess now? It's like, we're just going to call. Yeah, oh yeah, my phone's going to start ringing. <laughs> I don't think my phone can take much more today. It's about to die. It's like all crazy. Um. So also, Megan, what the projects you're working on, are you, since you and... Um, that, why am I having a hard time with his name? You guys have, uh, you're doing your different things. Mm -hmm. um, Josh. Josh, I'm sorry, why did I forget about Josh? Are you, so are you shopping labels? Are you doing anything like that? Or are you just planning to do this on your own from here? Or what, would you go back into a label? Or what is your, your uh, goal, your plan? I struggle with that just because I, I want to make sure it's the right thing if I do anything. So for right now, I'm just mm -hmm. trying to get my ducks in a row and do it independently. And, uh, I hear you. We'll see what happens. <laughs> if the right things come, come along, then great, you know. But right now, I'm not really actively seeking anything, per se. It's it. Right there with you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. With you two here, this is a good time. They talk about bro country, and I love the thought. I read Rita from Ride and Velvet the other day talked about bra country. And mm -hmm. you guys, like, <laughs> epitomize, like, the bra country. You guys are, like... You're women, and you're strong, but you're fun, and you're feisty, and we're missing that from country music radio. They don't get to see what I'm seeing online and how I get to be friends and talk to you guys, and I feel like I wish everyone could, like, look and listen to what is out there, especially you two. Thanks. Hey. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I agree. There needs to be more females on country radio. Who's your, don't get. Yes. <laughs> Who are your favorite? Who's, like, your favorite... Um, artist that's on not on radio right now that you're hearing about all the time. Ooh. Besides Brandy Clark, because <laughs> that's mine. I get Brandy. You guys all have to pick someone else. Oh, I man. pick Meg. <laughs> I pick Whitney. See, that was easy. easy. You guys are cracking <laughs> Um, I'm sure Scotty's got a question, and I'm sure, like, Scotty, you're right between, in the middle, you're right in between Megan and Whitney on my screen, and I can just see you smiling for me. <laughs> Look yeah. at that smile on Cheesy's face. Yeah. So, Megan, what's it like being a solo artist now instead of working in the duo? Like, I, what's different for, from your end? I am. Um, well, I, you know, I, I was doing the solo thing before I met Josh, so I've kind of had to, like, um, 
you know, it, it, you, it takes getting used to being up there by yourself. It's good if you have a band that you can kind of play off of. And that's mostly the thing is, is the live show that's really different, you know. I mean, everything's different, but as far as, you know, taking some getting used to, I think the live performance is the thing that takes the most getting used to. <laughs> Bethany. Have you ever had an incident before you've had to perform where you've had stage fright? Oh yeah, of course. That's really nervous. How do you how do you um deal with that? What do you do to kind of get yourself in the zone? Oh man, I don't. I think you just once you're out there, you just gotta commit. <laughs> you just gotta go for it. No matter what you're feeling, you gotta just go get over it real quick. It's kind of. I don't really. I don't know what else to say other than that. You know. You can't just say no thanks. I'm gonna go home. I'll see you guys later. Have a good night. <laughs> Drag you out on stage. You have to sing now, right now. Exactly. You just gotta do it. Just go for it. Can I ask a question? Uh huh. <laughs> so, what was your uh, what what where, where did you get the most nervous? I want to see if your answer matches mine, cause it may. Oh God. You know what? I always get nervous when I play the Grand Ole Opry. Yes. Me too. How many times or whatever? <laughs> it's just like every time I get nervous, <clears throat> every single time, and I don't get nervous yeah. like. I went out in the Reba tour and opened and didn't get nervous doing that. But I'll get nervous, right. nervous playing the Grand Ole Opry. Yeah, I totally agree. I, I never get nervous unless it's the Opry. And it's just like this, I don't know, it's just this nervous, I don't know, it's like the ultimate show. So. I feel like everybody's watching me to see if I'm going to do it right. <laughs> <laughs> uh uh, would you guys do me a favor and look at Twitter? My thing's locked up, but uh, Jen, I know you have a question, but would somebody look and see what Twitter's got going and if they're asking us questions right now? Jen, hop on, honey. Speaking of Twitter, Megan, um, how do you use social media to keep your fans engaged while you're in the studio? Um, I've been po just pictures and videos and that kind of thing. Um, you know, I've been posting some little videos and me in and I don't know just that really just that on Twitter and Facebook and all that and then Scotty uh, did you guys look at Twitter but go ahead and Scotty yeah. you can jump in everybody yeah, just jump in it's a free for all Alana Clark's asking a bunch of questions here she wants to know if there's anything any TV shows that you're watching that you love right now oh god um <laughs> I DVR because I'm out of town a lot, so um, I need to catch up on Nashville because I'm behind on that, like two episodes. Um, I watch all the, I watch all the things you would think I would watch. Like I watch The Voice. Um, I'm really into Girls on HBO, but that's not on right now, so I can't watch that. Um, yeah, those probably those three things are probably the things I watch the most. Wait a minute! I just realized you guys were both in. And there's my voice now. You both were in, you, Whitney was in Nashville Star. You were on Can You Duet on CMT. What yeah. from, going from, what did you learn best from doing a reality singing series? Like, what did that prepare you for? Because if there's someone out there watching this who thought, I want to be in a reality show, it seems like it's a great way to get your, you know, start. What would you say to them if they were thinking about it? Um... It definitely puts you on the spot real quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Kind of catapults you into just like like what we were talking about with, you know, sink or swim. You just kind of have to go out there and do it. and There's no real, like, uh, you just kind of learn as you go, I guess. Yeah. I that. Barbecue, they put, bar what is that? They say they put barbecue sauce on your body and throw you out to the wolves. Yeah. <laughs> well, for us, once the show was over, it was like they just threw a single at like, country radio, so it was like we had to go right to radio tour, and it just got real crazy real quick. You don't really realize how much work it is until you have to actually do it, and then you're like, oh, yeah. this is hard. <laughs> Did you get to work with, like, Scott Barchetta? Yeah, of course. Uh, I mean, he, he, like, he was, like, really hands-on with y'all? He was, yeah. He went out, like, on our first half of our radio tour. He went with us, which was cool. Wow. Yeah, I don't think he does that a whole lot anymore, but um, that was pretty cool. And, yeah, we got to work with a lot of cool people. Who's that. your favorite 
so far that you've worked with? Oh, God. Honestly, probably Reba. Just doing that you, pulled the Reba you pulled the Reba card. Why? <laughs> I don't blame you. If you've got it, if you've got that card, pull it. It always I works. I freaking love her. I can't help it. She's, She's like my awesome. Yeah. Well, Whitney got to pull the kitty card, so you can get the Reba card. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. <laughs> Who do you guys think are the Reba and Kinnies and Merles and Waylands of the like right now? Who do you think are the legends of tomorrow? Oh gosh. Um it's tough. Eric Church. Mm -hmm. I'd say Eric Church is definitely one. Um, Miranda. Yeah, for sure. Um, I don't know. Who's Miranda, she's like a, a Loretta or a Dolly or a, a Reba. What do you think that Miranda's like? Actually, Miranda's just a Miranda, huh? She's kind of strong. Yeah. yeah. Who's going to be like the Hank and Merle and, I mean, like, I, I was like, I mean, besides Eric Church, you think Blake and Jamie Johnson oh. definitely has the throwback. Oh yeah, yeah. I want to sure. go to his house and like be like, well, make some more music, get out there, we want to hear it. But radio yeah. never seems to get him get that right, like that whole. No offense to radio, I'm just saying, but like that him and that what's the guy that's out there, Chris Stapleton. Oh, oh yeah, Chris is awesome. Heart melt. Like yeah, my favorite male singer in Nashville, it's Chris. Oh yeah, he's For sure. he's super special. I would have to say it's between Chris and Jonathan Singleton, and I'm not by Jonathan's my cousin, so I might be just a tad by. <laughs> but I love I played a show with both of those, and it was just like one was on one side, one was on the other, and I'm like I don't even need to open my mouth. These guys are amazing. Uh, they're just both hands down, just incredible singers. Yeah, they're awesome. Ooh, Megan, I want to ask you this question. Or, yeah. and Whitney, you can do it too. <laughs> Something about you that people, other people, like your friends, even me, and Whitney, and everyone here, what would people be surprised to learn about you? Oh, God. <laughs> it's the worst, because I can't ever think of anything. Um, oh, I have one for you. It's gonna okay. be it's gonna be really unattractive for like two seconds, okay? What? What? Okay. <laughs> I'm missing my teeth right here. Okay. What? Ha whoa! 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 Wait! What happened? Um. <laughs> Bar fight. Pulled it all out there for you guys. Um. Well, when I was little, I had a tumor, and so my teeth never grew in. And then okay. I never got a um. I never got a uh. What do you call it? A thing? I don't know. You can't see it. Like when I like, smile. Yeah, there's no point. Yeah, you can't like see it at implant. all. Like an implant. I'm well, trying to keep I'm, it real. I'm from Louisiana, you know. <laughs> I have to say, I'm surprised. Put you, a gold, let me see. put you a gold tooth in there. Gold tooth. Come on. <laughs> Whitney, I, let me see. Let's see your toes, Whitney. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, do, no. do you really want to see my toes? No, I was kidding. You're so cute. Gosh, you're cute. What? No, what they're, they're yellow. Say? They actually look like they've got a major <laughs> fungus going on right now. I picked the wrong color at the nail salon, man. Don't don't do it. <laughs> they're they're yellow. Yeah, it's not good. Oh my god! <laughs> Smoke. It looks like smoker's toes. <laughs> That'd be very <laughs> talented. <laughs> okay, too much something, something that's surprising. I realize um, now since I'm you know Keith and I share a home that I leave the door open when I use the bathroom, and he comes by and snaps a picture every time. And so on his phone, he made his picture that comes up me sitting on the toilet. And so one of his friends called me and like apparently looks at his phone and he like screams and he's like, "Why? Why are you sitting on the toilet?" <laughs> coconut grub. Coconut grub. <laughs> okay, that's. T T M I. Sorry guys. Yeah, that was like. I think that's like coconut grub. Coconut grub. It wasn't number two. Don't worry. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Hello. We, you know, we talk about, me and my friends talk about cleanses all the time. Cleanses are good. Mm -hmm. They are. They are good. Yeah. What do they say? Yeah, good, for, good friends talk about sex. Best friends talk about going number two. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how you, that's how you know your friends. That's, we're all friends here. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, I, I know, um, Megan, you have another announcement, something kind of cool is happening next week. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to, um... Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
That um, little thing. I'm doing a. I'm gonna have a segment on E News on Tuesday. I'm pretty excited about. Ooh, nice. That's awesome. E News comes on and are you? Are you comes, but, or I'd tell you, but you can look it up. Are you gonna let people know? Will you be like um, when you when you put it out? You'll say because I saw it's a header on your Facebook and on your Twitter, the mm -hmm. e thing. But will people just in your market look for your e news and do you know what time approximately or anything? I know that. Hmm, I don't know. I think Nashville it's like five thirty and then like again at eleven or something. But don't quote me on that. But if you just look up e news. Okay. Well, time comes on. <laughs> I'm terrible. All right. It comes on at different times and different All times. All right, we got this. I don't know. It's confusing. Well, as we wrap up, and I'm next, so you guys can both stick around to interview me, but you can put me on the hot seat, literally, Whitney. And I'm just saying, um, the thing I wanted to know is, I, mean, I just know so much about you, but what would you want people to leave here knowing about you? About me? Or Whitney? Yeah, about you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you. Um, well, Whitney yeah, already told us about you. me. <laughs> I like, I mean, I like listening to Whitney talk. I don't know. Um, oh, God. I don't know, Jessica. Why do you ask me hard questions? <laughs> um, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love you. I love um, you more. Uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, um... Yeah, I don't know. What do you want people to know about me that you know? I, I think that how tender your heart is and how authentic and loving and generous and adventurous and how much fun it is just when you you just you make the people around you feel so special. And I, I love being friends with you. You're one of my just one of the best people in my life. I'm so happy I have you. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> Well, I love you. We've been like, it's been like this whole year, it's just been so cool. And when, oh my God, I forgot when we met, it had to have been, oh my God, at the Ryman. Because you came to the Ryman for one of the twang outs, and then we just kept you all day. You never left. It was like you had your little pigtails and your jeans on, and, and you just stayed, and me and Jillian, and uh -huh. like, that's our Megan. I love you. The I love you. Virtual. See, I could have said all that stuff about myself. <laughs> I'll write it down. Or actually, after we watch this, you can transcribe it and then keep it in there. Keep it in your publicity thingy. Aww. Your publicity brain. No, you're wonderful. And I guess you don't want to be the one saying all that nice stuff about yourself all the time anyways, right? No. <laughs> Anybody guys got anything? Because I know the next part of this is the part, like, uh, they were going to interview me, but I was, like, trying to get out of that, so I don't care. Don't you dare. I don't care how long we sit here talking. <laughs> Less Ten time years. for them to grill me. I have questions for you, Jessica. Oh, well, you're going to stick around. And Whitney, I, if you're not busy, you're totally round, bound to stick around. We, I actually do have to leave, but I, I, can I ask a question before I leave? Yes, you can. So when did you know... That this is what you wanted to do. Me? Mm hmm. I, gosh, I don't even know. When my mom said when I was a little girl, I used to like watch TV all the time. And then when the TV, I would be like, shh, the commercials are on. So, like, I've always been attracted to the media and the cells and the natural part of the cells part. And then when I became a radio personality, um, I realized. It was exciting presenting information to people mm -hmm. and then doing it in this way that brought them in. And my grandpa would tell stories all the time. Yeah. And you'd be everyone would be around him. And I loved storytelling and then I love sales. But I don't like sales like you guys would be surprised with what people come to me and want me to sell or want me to sign on to as a product and I'm like, hmm, you know, or like I'll get a thing, do you want to sell tampons or do you want to do this? And I'm like no, you know, like I'm very true to who my brand is and who I'm authentic and um, I think I've always known I wanted to do this but it didn't exist so I have to make it up as I went. Is that a good answer? That's a great answer. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, I finally answer. got to it. It took me, took me a minute to get around to <laughs> I told stories. Wait, my thing is long story short or short story long. <laughs> All right, guys, I have to go, but mwah, I Thanks, love you all. Buddy. I had so much fun.
I'll text you. Right, your text me. We're writing next week. All right. Sounds <laughs> good. Next week, but we're going to do it. In the next couple of weeks. Monday and Tuesday don't work, but we'll get together. All right. Mwah. Mwah. Awesome. Bye, y'all. Up next is Thank me. You. Up next is me. And then <laughs> Ashley Lissette. And then Steve Padilla. Then Two Story Road. Then Audra Lynn. So I'm going to unbat channel this. And then we're going to come back on a new thing. You'll never even know. It'll be on twangout.com. Love you. Love your show.